Remote development in VS Code enables you to develop almost anything from anywhere. And the experience feels just like working locally, including having integrated AI features. In this video, we'll go over how AI features in remote development just work and call out a few features that you will want to try out. Remote development in VS Code typically refers to five experiences. You can spin up a dev container with all of your app dependencies. You can use WSL as your full-time development environment. You can connect to a remote machine using SSH. You can set up a secure tunnel without touching SSH configs. Or you can just jump into a fully managed GitHub code space. When you're connected to a remote experience, AI features will just work because if you're already using GitHub Copilot locally, it will automatically be installed remotely. This means you will seamlessly have AI features integrated in your remote environment, like code completions, which includes the ghost text that predicts the next code that you want to add, and next edit suggestions, which predicts the next code that you want to edit. These two features make for a really powerful experience, all while keeping you in your flow. There are a few other AI features that I want to showcase. Chat participants, tool approvals, and custom instructions. In ask mode, did you know that you have access to an entire list of domain area experts just by typing at? These are called chat participants, and there are several built-in chat participants like VS Code, where you can ask VS Code related questions. Now, chat participants can also come from extensions like the remote SSH extension. You can invoke it manually with at remote SSH in the chat input and ask it for help configuring or troubleshooting your remote SSH environment. One of the coolest things it can do though is if you have a connection failure, you can click diagnose with Copilot and chat will open with the remote SSH participant invoked so you will get immediate insights into the issue. I want to now move from ask mode to agent mode. If you haven't already tried agent mode out, it's your autonomous peer programmer capable of editing files, running terminal commands, and iterating on errors. And the real power of agent mode comes from its ability to invoke tools. These tools can be contributed by MCP servers like Playwright, or extensions like the Prompt Boost extension, or they can be built in like Codebase. Now, these tools are incredibly powerful, but as you know, with great power comes great responsibility. So you need to approve the use of tools in case an action is destructive. Now, we've heard feedback that some actually want agent mode to just go ahead and run the tools autonomously, which is why we have the chat tools auto approve setting, which will, well, automatically approve all tools. This is where remote development works really nicely with AI. You can turn the setting on for your remote environment only, there is a level of risk if you enable this setting because you won't be able to cancel any potentially destructive actions, but enabling in your remote environment like a dev container can give you some level of protection for your local machine. Now, the last feature I want to show is how to customize your AI experience for remote development. Have you ever wanted the LLM to get better context into your coding preferences and tech stack? Then custom instructions are for you. Instead of manually including this context in every chat query, custom instructions are included in every request, saving you time and giving you better responses every time. And you can use these same custom instructions in a remote environment as you would locally. Dev containers really take advantage of this feature because you can add custom instructions directly to your dev container configurations. For example, if I open this app locally and ask, do I need to install the Python language extensions for Python development? It says, yes, that would be helpful. But if I connect to the dev container and then ask, it says, no, we have these custom instructions that tell us you are all set. Now, real quick, you might be wondering where are these custom instructions coming from? Because they're not in my custom instructions file or in my dev container.json. Well, I'm using the Python image from the Microsoft Container Registry. If we look at that image definition, it includes the Python feature. You can think of features as building blocks to make a more robust dev container image. And that Python feature is what has these predefined custom instructions. We found that custom instructions are really helpful for remote development to specify things like the kind of remote development and what languages or tool chains are installed. If you've published any dev container configurations, we definitely recommend exploring how to add custom instructions to them. Remote development is a powerful feature in VS Code. Combine that with AI features and you have an incredibly versatile dev environment. If you wanna learn more about remote development or AI features in VS Code, Check out our other videos on the channel and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything new. Happy coding!